Hi guys! Today I want to walk you through the design process for our brochure project. So my project is on the sculpture garden or a sculpture garden at Stanford uh, and these sculptures were made by carvers that visited from Papua New Guinea. Uh, this piece is called The Thinker and it's based on another famous sculpture at Stanford. And I like it very much because this process of designing always involves lots of thinking. So there are four steps to doing the design process. First step is research, finding your visual information and learning about your subject matter. Next, you're going to make sketches. Many of you have already done this step where you sketch the front and back of your layout. You want to gather some assets, and I strongly recommend putting all of your assets in a single folder on your desktop. It will make it easier to assemble your brochure. So in this step, you want to find the images and write the text of your brochure. And finally, you're going to assemble it all using Canva. So for my research, I went to Behance. We've used Behance on our logo project when we created a mood board, and I'm looking for visual inspiration here. A lot of the brochures I found were very corporate, but I liked this one a lot because it had a more earthy and organic feel. I also like this trick that they did of showing part of an image on one page and having it be completed on another panel. Next, you want to learn about your subject. Uh, since my subject is the Papua New Guinea Sculpture Garden at Stanford, I read about it on the Stanford website. I went into the archives of the Palo Alto Weekly newspaper because that's where I had first read about the sculptures. And finally, I went to the Dominican Library uh, search tool, which is called Iceberg. And Iceberg is a fantastic place to visit. Uh, for any kind of information that you need, and I found a book, uh, an ebook, on the sculpture of Papua New Guinea there. Next, you want to make your sketches. You want to draw the front and back of your layout, and I do want to remind you that your front panel will be here on the right, your back panel will be in the middle. This is panel five. This is the inside of the brochure where I would have panel two, three, and four. Step three is to gather your assets. So by assets, I mean the images and the text that you'll use in your brochure. For this step, I would normally encourage students to create their own content, shoot your own photos, and so forth. But under this shelter-in-place order, I think it's fine that we use the images that we can find online. So I went to Google Images and I only searched for large images. That way I knew that the photos would be of reasonably high quality. At this point you also want to write the text of your brochure and I want you to use your own words. Please rewrite text. Don't copy and paste text that you find online. You want it to be consistent in tone so take your various source material and rewrite it in your own words. And finally you're going to assemble your brochure using Canva. So this is my front panel over here on the right. My back panel which has the map and the address and not a whole lot of text. I, I, I kind of went with a lot of visuals and not a lot of text. And then some of the um, images that I found online. Now, let's look at the inside here. And here I have that gator appearing both on the front and back panel. And that's from my visual research on Behance. I was kind of mimicking that, that uh, idea that I found there. Don't be afraid to let your information travel across two panels here. I think that can be an important step in unifying your design as well as simplifying it. The only thing I did that didn't involve using Canva was I did cut away the background of, these sculpt of this sculpture and part of the background of this one. And I did that using Photoshop. I couldn't figure out a way to do it in Canva. If that's something that you would like to do, uh, get in touch with me and I can walk you through it. So that's it. That's how I made my brochure and I hope you'll enjoy 
assembling yours.